lightning expected to strike this weekend. Okay, here we are at, uh, what, 1117, 77 degrees outside, and that should tell us what the weather's going to be like tomorrow, right? Yeah, it, it does not have very far to skyrocket quite no. quickly tomorrow, and that's why we have a coin six weather alert once again in place for tomorrow for the high heat. We're talking about temperatures back up into the mid-90s, if not even the upper 90s for many of us. And then that weather alert rolls into Sunday as well, as not only the hazy and smoky skies will continue to pollute much of the skies over the Pacific Northwest, but also the thunderstorm potential could potentially start and spread brand new wildfires. So we should all be on high alert as we move our way into the weekend, especially after a hot day today. Just look at some of these afternoon temperatures, low to mid 90s through the I-5 corridor. We should be sitting about 10 degrees cooler than that. The safe haven was out along the coast with those temperatures into the 60s and 70s. But boy, Portland is ready for the pride festivities on this very warm evening. Great views over downtown Portland as we prepare for yet again another round of the summer heat to return as we take a live look right now out over the Vancouver area thanks to our Riverview Bank camera 77. That's where we currently sit out at PDX sliding back into the 60s for the rest of this evening as the winds are out the northwest at about 7. Now I want to show you exactly where some of the biggest fires are burning across our state right now and the cause of all of the wildfire smoke we will be plagued with this weekend primarily east of the Cascades although out towards the Lane and Douglas County area after this past week's lightning that sparked and started to spread new wildfires and all of that smoke and haze is already starting to reduce our air quality back to the moderate if not even the unhealthy or hazardous category further towards the south and west corner of our state. But watch as we put this into motion all of that upper level high elevation smoke is going to push its way back into the Willamette Valley. Some of the worst air quality that we have seen so far this summer season is expected by the time we get into Saturday. Just look at how thick it is. Now, nothing compared to what we experienced back in 2020, but nonetheless, it will be hazy out there Saturday night into Sunday as those thunderstorms, they start to fire up as we work our way into the afternoon hours. It's the winds of change out of the northwest force to usher in eventually cooler temperatures and that wetter potentially weather as we see those gusts near about 15 to 20 miles per hour. There you go, snapshot of where we could potentially see some of those rumblers as we work our way into Sunday. Again, dry lightning is the biggest cause for concern along with those gusty winds potentially moving old wild wildfires into unpredictable areas. So let's take you through the timeline of this weekend, expecting to see the marine layer start the day along the coast tomorrow. It's dry, it's hot, and it's sunny for the I-5 corridor and the Cascades. But as we work our way into Sunday, a little bit more moisture starts to come into the picture, maybe bring us a stray raindrop or two with a few breaks in the clouds in the afternoon. That could help heat up the atmosphere enough to produce some of those thunderstorms and just so happens to fall on the Portland Pride Parade. That's where we expect to see maybe a few hit and miss showers Yes, it might rain on our parade, but you should not reschedule any of your outdoor activities because the rain will be lackluster. Maybe filling up the rain gauge a couple of one hundredths of an inch at best, but that would put an end to the 20 plus days without rainfall. 63, that's our temperature tonight for the weekend for the Jazz Festival out towards Cathedral Park, falling to the mid 80s by the time we get to Sunday. But keep in mind that coin six weather alert remains in place Saturday and Sunday. About a 10 degree temperature drop at the thunderstorm potential keeps the fire through threat elevated and we finally start to cool things down for the beginning and the middle of next week with dry sunny skies finally seeing some normalcy back in the forecast. Isn't that something? Mondays can be a drag but hey that's the day we get back to normal weather. It's going to feel comfortable. Have lunch outside. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. All right thanks. Uh, big news for the thorns Brenna. Yes that's